Hi everyone, I'm Sigourin Dili, Director of Future Mobility and Corporate Affairs and the RAP Working Group Chair. This week we celebrate NAIDOC Week, a great opportunity for all Australians to learn about First Nations cultures and histories and participate in celebrations of the oldest continuous living culture on Earth. This year's theme, Keep the Fire Burning Black, Loud and Proud, celebrates the unyielding spirit of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and invites us all to continue to learn and celebrate this culture and reflect on our actions towards reconciliation. Hi everyone, my name is Jake Welsh and I'm the advisor for diversity and inclusion at Yarra Trams and I'm also a proud member of the Reconciliation Action Working Group. Since 2023, we've implemented our cultural community and ceremonial leave policy, which provides leave for our First Nations team members to attend significant cultural events. And we've partnered with Mob Jobs to become a culturally safe accredited organization. We've also spent $1.36 million with local Aboriginal business on things such as civil construction, PPE, stationery, and promotional items. KD Bus has operations across Australia covering 20 different First Nations lands. NAIDOC Week is the time for us to recognise and celebrate the history, culture and achievements of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia. It's an opportunity to reflect on the rich traditions and contributions of First Nations people to our society. During NAIDOC Week, various events and activities will be held to promote awareness and understanding of Indigenous culture. These will help remind us of the ongoing struggles and challenges faced by Indigenous communities. Overall, NAIDOC Week is the time to honour and celebrate the resilience, strength and diversity of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Hi, I'm Christian Hinora, Organisational Development Manager at KDA and a member of the RAP Working Group. Since KDA launched our Reconciliation Action Plan, we have delivered a range of initiatives. A couple of highlights include a cultural awareness e-learning program which forms mandatory training for all new staff onboarding into our business. Our aim is to educate team members and drive awareness around the creation of an inclusive, safe and respectful environment for all employees, regardless of their background. We also engage with one of KDA's drivers, Mitchell Clinch, who is a proud Yamaji man and contemporary artist, to share his talent and beautiful artwork across the business. This was undertaken through the incorporation of his artwork into our uniform trial project as a celebration, acknowledgement and mark of respect for First Nations culture. And most recently, KDA have become members of Reconciliation SA, which will underpin our continued focus on establishing meaningful relationships locally, as well as our ongoing learning process as we progress along the reconciliation path.